you got to understand the devil is on his job. What is his job? His job is to separate you from your father, to turn you against God and keep you from being blessed. And I want you to know he don't give up on nobody. Come to church tonight. Don't make the devil leave you alone. In fact, it made the devil mad. He's determined now to keep you from ever getting what God got in store for you. In fact, the devil done peeked over in the God's hand. You know, I, I, I done seen your whole God. The devil done peeked at what God's about to do for you. That's the reason why he's been messing with you like he's been messing with you. I can't get no amen. Somebody say, I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Because the devil been messing with me more than he ever messed with me before. I'm looking at some folk. The devil been messing with you lately more than you ever been messed with before. So somebody say, that's a sign I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now, you have to understand the methodology of the devil. The devil's tactic is... The devil's tactic is what? That's the way the devil do. The devil don't come with the truth. The devil comes with lies. He's out to deceive. And the devil works in the mind. Deception is something that you think that ain't so. So they say he works on your mind. That's why you got to be careful about what's talking to you. If you don't let the word talk to you, then the devil will talk to you. Right. People who don't read their Bible much is always deceived. Come on, Pastor. What is a lie? A lie is something that sounds good, that sounds true, but it ain't true. Deception is something that looks one way, but it really is. But well, wait a minute. So when he talks to you, he going to tell you stuff that sounds good. Sound like it's right, but it ain't right. And when he show you something, he going to show you something that look right, but it ain't what it look like. It going to look like it works just like the way he's showing you, but it don't work nothing like that. It's all wrong. He's deceiving. The more you understand this strategy, da 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 We are not ignorant. I'm not going into this tonight. I don't have time, y'all. Of his, trust me, by next week, I'm going to be talking about the device. I got so much stuff to give you, it ain't even fun. da da up. A large part of the truth they convey is hidden in from view because of the way scholars translated them from the original language. We're talking about the King James Version. Everybody turn to your Bibles here and read 2 Thessalonians. And this is not everything. I'm not going to give you the whole truth of these verses, but I'm going to give you a truth out of these verses. God wants to set you up in the truth because everything else is a lie. Amen. Touch somebody say, God wants to set you up in his word because everything else is a lie. Anything that contradicts the word of God is a lie from hell. The only thing you said solid that you ever know is that Bible that's in your lap. Brother, if you can't find it in the Bible, it ain't real. Whatever you're doing, if it ain't found in that scripture, you're about to come down. Heaven and earth going to pass away. Only the word of God is going to stand. I wish somebody would holler forever. forever. Let's read 2 Thessalonians 8. Let's start about the sixth verse. One, two, ready, read. We're talking about the time of the Antichrist. The Antichrist proceeds from a false spirit. And the false spirit, amen, proceeds from the mouth of a false prophet. 
So the false prophet shows up and announces the introduction of a false spirit. You know for every real there's a phony. So what, what happens in the end times is just like the Lord produced the Holy Ghost in Pentecost, the devil come with a counterfeit spirit. A counterfeit spirit. A false spirit. A spirit of error. Are you hearing me? And this spirit proceeds to operate in the children of disobedience. Are you hearing me? And these men and women love the way of error and love the life of disobedience until they refuse the way of truth and refuse Jesus, who is the truth, the way and the life. So they look for a savior. So since they are uh, erroneous in the way of error, and because they are children of disobedience, they get a wicked savior who is anti-Christ. Hello, somebody. Now, the Holy Ghost is still in the earth, but the Holy Ghost is God's traffic cop. He's holding back things that God don't want to develop. I don't have time to go into all of this thing. He is restraining Touch your neighbor and say, he's a restraining spirit. He's a spirit of a governor. He, he stops things that want to go down from going down. He is letting until he, and that word letting is not what you think it is. It have, the, here's where the English word language have gone full circle, where let means to allow and when it first started out, let mean to disallow. So the meaning of it have come 300, I mean 180 degrees, until now it means exactly opposite of what it started out to mean. That word means to hold back, not to allow, to restrain. So when that verse say, he that let it will let, it really say, he that restraineth will restrain and continue to restrain until he be taken out of the way. It's telling you that the Holy Ghost is holding back the flood of evil, the flood of ungodliness, the flood of wickedness that will inundate this world and bring forth the Antichrist. And the only reason why times have not gotten as evil as they shall become is because some spirit is in this earth holding things back. And that spirit is in us. Yes. That spirit is in believers. When he is taken out of the way, when the Holy Ghost is said to come back, he's in us and he's going to take us back. When we are caught up, the world is going to be overwhelmed with a deluge, just like Noah's flood, of wickedness and evil. And you can see them all straining, evil spirits are straining, wanting to take over. We're living in the last days of deception. We will not have prophets, but we will have sorcerers. We will not have preachers, but we will have magicians, psychics, hoodoos, conjurers. We won't have my, we won't have Bibles, we'll have lucky dream books. We won't be blessed, we're gonna get lucky, get a number. Get a lotto. Instant play, triple play. They ain't trying to be blessed. They try to go to the casino. Right. You got quiet. <laughs> and when the Holy Ghost is taken away, withdrawn, to the next day, it's going to be withdrawn. The very word ain't it frightening in its process, in, in its process. For the very word it says that something God has put, that this world will not be, the world is not going to be the same. The world as we see it, as we know it, you better get ready to get in the rapture. 
You better get ready to go back with the saints. If you ain't holy, you better get holy. You ain't right, you better get right with God. God about to take something from this world. And when he takes it from this world, this world will never be the place it once was. Something is precious is about to be withdrawn. God speaks in the Old Testament of separating the holy from the vile, the precious from the profane. And they say the great God man. Yeah, Deacon, go out there and see what all that noise is out there. Somebody flew around and go to slamming car. Ain't no, this ain't no place to be racing no more, more motorcycles. I don't care if it's, it's Santa and his little elves. They don't need to be doing it <laughs> over here. Y'all ain't got spirit to know it. Wasn't even looking at the Bible. Go on out there and run them out. You women don't see the look. That man's work. Let them go on. Right, going on some of them go on there. If, if something went down, they ain't going to even do nothing. <laughs> I need some folks to go over there if the devil get wrong, punch him in his nose. <laughs> well, I hear you, Pastor. I'm going to restore you. I don't need nobody going out there talking about, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> man coming off the street going to tap your house. You'll be talking about, oh, Lord, have mercy. If you don't get out of here, I'm going to knock you out. I can't get no amen. amen. Huh? Oh, well, stay out there, too. How am I doing? Amen. Yeah, the Bible says watch before it says pray. Yeah, I don't mind that. I just don't want them up here slamming into y'all's car. The devil do that. We start exposing him, the first thing you do is get mad and start some stuff. Then he'll tell you, well, you know, if you hadn't went to church that night, you never would have got your car dented. And you know what? Some of us ain't got no message to agree with it. You know that's the truth. Yeah. If I hadn't went to church, I wouldn't even happen to me. Brother, God been take care of you through all these dangers. You should have lost your life a dozen times, and God preserved it. And then you're going to let the devil sell you some lie? If I had to went to church, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, fool. Have some sense, Hortense. I know I'm right. Because the neighbor say, quit agreeing with the devil. Nothing happened in your life unless God let the devil get away with it. And he meant it for evil. God meant it for good. Somebody come and dent your car, take it back and trade it, get a new one. But the last state is always better than the first. Sometimes you won't, you won't get a new car, so God tab the old one, so you will get a new one. Some of y'all, he had to set the house on fire to get you out of it. I'm, I'm teaching you. Yeah, I'm teaching you. Yeah. I, I, bet, I bet he'll leave the saint's house alone. <laughs> he thought he set us back. We wind up moving out. How'd you get out of here? Oh, child, my house caught on fire. Look at what the Lord blessed me with. That was a who curses. <laughs> I better leave their house alone. Every, every, every time I mess with them, the Lord help them. Because he's a very present help. Yes, 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 uh, yes. You ain't got a God to desert you like your friends. Your God will help you in the time of your yes, trouble. Yes, yes. He's a present help. Yes, Tell yes. somebody to say present help. Yes, yes. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume. So the neighbor say, God is going to deal with the devil. Now look. It, 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 uh, it don't take God long to whoop the devil. Like it's, a, like it's, like it's WWF. He ain't got to give him the Larry, the DDT. He ain't got to do it. 
He ain't got to do nothing. When he come up and breathe, who the devil's dead, boom. That's what I love the Bible. God ain't got the devil because he can't handle him. He just got a time and a day when he's going to deal with it. So the Bible says he got a set time. The Lord don't consume with the spirit of his mouth. Church, they say out of his mouth comes a two-edged sword. Now, wait a minute. Drop down. His tactic is what? What's in the Lord's mouth? What is that two-edged sword? The word of truth. He destroys the deceiver with the word. How do you stop the devil and make the devil leave you alone? You take the two-edged sword of the word of you take the word of truth. Yes. You ain't going to whoop no devil's face, loose here devil. The devil ain't stuck about you. <laughs> Soon as you say loose here devil, he folds his arms and talks about it. I ain't coming out. Don't say that. <laughs> devil ain't impressed with, 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 with your special incantation. Loose here. Loose here. Loose here. You just loose here and loose here, and the devil got your ears pinned back. Loose here, loose here. Devil getting worse and worse. Loose here. Only way you can stop the devil is you must destroy a lie. Well, you know they lie on me. I'm gonna go out and lie on them. You don't stop a lie about telling a bigger lie. Some of y'all ain't never been lied on. Well, you know they lie. Child don't believe nothing they say. Don't believe. You can't stop a lie by running around. Child don't believe nothing they say. The reason why they receive it because they want to believe. Your enemies, you ain't got to explain. That's why I get so tired of members that don't have understanding. I just say tired of members. I say tired of members that don't have understanding. Some of y'all, I go A, B, C, D, E, F. You know what members that don't have understanding? Pastor, I know they said, I know you done heard what they said about me, but don't you believe it? Honey, if you know your pastor, you know that I ain't going to believe it? No, honey. Now that's true. If they say you butt naked and you standing there with no clothes on, I still don't believe it. That's right. You don't even hear it, Pastor. That's right. That's a good point. Yeah. Some of y'all ain't got it yet. Don't. If they tell me she's butt naked and you standing next to me with no clothes on, I don't believe it. I know you better than that. That just ain't you. You ain't butt naked, you just ran out your clothes. You not. You danced out of your clothes. You just been praising God, your, your stuff fell off. I know. When you love someone, you want to believe it. You want to believe in them. So you don't receive what somebody said. You don't receive it. People that love you won't receive. They'll tell you, get out of my face. Don't say nothing about them. Those are my folk. Don't talk about my folk. They don't receive it. But people that don't like you, they receive everything. For, that's why they believe preposterous stuff. You believe, when you think about the lies people believe against you, half of it's preposterous. That ain't even like you. No, not at all. And I got quiet. When I first got lied on, I thought that I'd go out and straighten the lie out. You can't straighten no lie. I thought I'd catch the lie before it get out. Tell somebody say, you can't outrun no lie. I don't care how fast you are, lies are supersonic. <laughs> Oh, a lie be all over the country. I mean, before it get happen good, you be saying, whoa. I wish I had some amen. But I had a good pastor. He said, boy, you can't do nothing with no lie. I can hear him talking now, boy, I'm chewing gum. He said, you can't do nothing with no lie. Only thing you can do, boys, live it down. Whatever they said about you, just keep on living. 
And if you live right after a while, he didn't explain it like Bishop. That's why I love this pastor. Can't nobody explain nothing like him. He had a way he could do it. He said, a lie got wings. <laughs> it takes off. It, before you know it, it done flew from one end of the country to the other. It's got wings. He said, but the truth is on speed. And it's slow. Take a long time for the truth to get out. Slow, slew footed. He said, but the problem with a lie is when it get there, because it ain't got nothing but wing, when it get there, it can't stand, so it falls. A truth, when it get there, it finally do get there, it don't need to be propped up, it stand all by itself. So everything the folks said about you, just keep on doing right. You keep on living right. Slowly, slowly, but surely, you make every lie to be what it is. And people will see the truth. They'll come up to you and say, you know they said so and so about you, but you ain't nothing like they said. Child, I show you the same thing about you, but I found out you ain't nothing like that. No, honey, I wasn't nothing like that. And all you folks sitting back here smug like you ain't never been lied on. It's a lie on everybody in here. It's a lie on you. You just ain't heard it yet. But it's, it's one on you. It's one on you. I ain't got no amen. Okay. The way you destroy the truth is with the spirit of his mouth. I mean, destroy a lie or deception is with the spirit of his mouth. And that's the word. When Jesus got ready to deal with the devil, he said, it is written. Yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, don't carry on conversation with the devil. <laughs> Just say the Bible say, and quote it word for word, and that's it. But the Bible say so and so and so and so. And if you want to stop folks from shooting off at your mouth, tell them the Bible say so and so and so and so. And they'll. That's the truth, Pastor. That's the truth. I can't get no amen. Yeah. Even him whose coming is after the working of what? Who's coming is after the working of what? Satan. Now, he's after the working of Satan. So, just like uh, Jesus works, just like Jesus or God works, works, God works. Satan, works. Satan works. God is working to convict people through miracles, mm -hmm. to believe him. Satan is working through trickery, chicanery, and deception to make men believe God is working through miracles and the truth to make men believe him. Satan is working through chicanery and trickery and deception to cause men to believe him. And Satan works with all. I had trouble with this verse. I want you all to sit here five minutes and I'm going to break this verse up. I thought Satan had all that is not like it seems. Because they say, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. The, devil the devil don't have, don't have no, power. no power. Power, signs, and wonders. Wonder. But the, so it's lying. Lying. And lying. Yeah. Power that really is a lie. It ain't power at all. Signs that really ain't signs is a lie. It ain't signs at all. Wonders that really ain't wonders. This Bible foresees a TV age when everything is scripted and acted out and put on the screen like it's real, but it's imaginary. It's lying wonders. We go to Jurassic Park and thrill and scream and have to rush to the bathroom before we urinate. And everything up there is nothing but computer images and not even real. It sounds real. They growl real. They look real. They act real. It seems real. But it's a... We go watch a nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. Poltergeist. 
or the latest one about Freddie with them long nails. Everything about it seems diabolical, evil, murderous, frightening, terrifying, but it's not even real. It's a I can't watch scary movies because it ain't a movie to me. I get caught up in it. Them squeaky doors. It take them so long to get to the house. Anybody in the right mind wouldn't go to no house that deep in the woods. Even if they live there. I ain't going home tonight. You don't even go home tonight. Storming like that. I'm, I ain't even going home. Hey, I ain't coming home tonight. <laughs> Nobody in his right mind will let the weeds grow up that high. <laughs> will let their house be that black. I ain't never seen nobody living in no black house yet. Ain't nobody in the right mind got that many old ugly cats hanging around no house. And you be telling them, why the way you want to go up there? Why, why you, why you want to go up there? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Why am I there? I got I got I told you don't go in there. I look for <laughs> These folk won't live safe in this thing. I told you. Don't you know he's a crook? Can't you tell he's a crook? Can't you see he's a vampire? He's going to suck in your blood. He, can't you see? Can't you see he's a vampire? Can't, can't you tell he's about to bite you in the neck? Oh, why don't you? And you wake up. I'm sitting there sweating and grunting and sweating and grunting, sweating and turning and sweating. Because to me, I've been deceived in my mind, in my imagination, and the imaginary. Lion. The Antichrist is going to be the supreme maneuverer of the television age. Amen. Ain't nobody going to use TV like the Antichrist. He's going to be a movie star. Nobody's going to be able to read his line. He like one of them magic acts where you see the people. Child, I saw it on TV. They, they lifted that woman. That woman raised right up off there and folded in the air. They walked all up under. Child, it's real. That's mirrors. It ain't real. It's a. And the Antichrist is going to make the world believe he just worked miracles. And he ain't worked nothing. But the magic. Television and the mass media. Next. What do you know about it? I'm ready. Throughout the King's Version of the New Testament, King James Version of the New Testament, the writers almost always translated the Greek word chi. C A I. I mean, no, K A I. Into the. And you all, you all know what it is. Greek word, help me say Kai. Kai. Let's spell it. C A I. Oh, yeah, K A I. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about Kai after Jesus said that. <laughs> K A I, into the English word and. So Kai means. So, and after. No, 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 no. Kai means and. And however, the Greek word Kai has several meanings. Several means. Many times it's better translated not and, but even. Flip back. Up. So this word should be his mouth and shall destroy. Okay. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and or 
sign, power, even signs, even with all power, even signs, even lines. Amen. Amen. In the preceding verses where you read and signs and lines, the translation should have been even signs, even. Furthermore, the proper translation of the words with all power is with all the power, Satan. And what is that power? Even signs, even lines. Runs. With all. He's coming against you with all the power he has, which is signs, even lines, wonders. Touch your neighbor and say, he's coming against you with all the power he has. Lie, 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 And every time the devil come to your mind, you ought to be saying, lie, 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 lie. I hate to be in this church the next six months, because all I'm over here around here talking about lie, 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 lie. Look to my eyes and say, don't try to jive me. La, 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 la. Rosa says, if you ain't going to be nothing, you ought to look back at me and say, la, 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 la. That daycare center ain't going to never get off the ground. La, 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 la. You ain't going to never get a job. La. La la, la la la. You ain't making no headway. La la la, la la la. God doesn't forget about you. La la la, la la la. He's using all the power he has. And all he got is deception. This is, I'm so bad. I'm, I'm so, you know what? I was so bad I hated to even come in here because bad was just all over me. When I, I knew that. I knew it was going to happen. I told y'all it was going to happen. When I got up here, I said, it's going to be awesome tonight. I don't have to go no bother. That's awesome. That's awesome. Every time the devil cheated you, it was with a lie, 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 lie. lie. Every time the devil messed your life up, it was with lie, 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 lie. Up. The apostle wasn't trying to tell us how strong the devil is. He was exposing that the devil ain't strong. All the devil got is his lies. And once you know the truth of God, his lies don't work. Touch the Bible and say, the devil's lies just don't work no more. Might as well quit because your lies. It's bad to talk to a woman that won't listen to nothing you say. I messed up so bad and tried to hit on my girlfriend again, and she folded her arm, wasn't hearing nothing I said. In her spirit, she was saying, lie. I said, baby, you know I. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you know. If I had the bag in please, I don't mind because you mean Ain't you proud of me? I'm all by myself. I'm all by myself. I'm all by myself. And while I was telling her, I didn't do it. It was somebody that looked like me. You know I don't like nobody but you. In her spirit, she was saying, lie, 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 lie. Bad when you run out with, with your woman. That's right. And you talking and she ain't listening. 
All in that field, she's saying, lie, 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 lie. He was exposed in the kind of power the wicked one will use when he reveals himself. He will operate in the same way the devil does. He will use false signs, fake wonders. Tell somebody say false signs. False signs. Fake wonders. Fake wonders. Well, you know, I want you to know that I got this car and I don't pay my tithes. Tell somebody false signs. False signs. Fake, wonders. fake wonders. Because if you got something that ain't paying your tithes, it's a lie. La 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 la. Nobody prospers without paying their tax. Nobody. I watched the Al Capone movie. Talked about how much money he made. Al Capone made a million dollars when a million dollars was a million dollars. He was making a hundred million dollars a day. He died in less than 12 years. His criminal career didn't last 12 years. Without a dime, penniless, broke, mind deranged, a complete lunatic, in more pain than you will ever want to realize. He thought he was king of the world. And God was behind the shadow saying, lie, lie, lie. I'm making all, I got all this money. God saying, lie, lie, lie. Because all the time he was making it, it was some federal bookkeepers going over their calculator, taking everything he had away. He didn't make nothing. Because when they got to him, he didn't have a dime in his pocket. The devil make it look like you got something. It disappear as fast as it come. Overnight you go down. But the righteous shall hold on to his way. And he just got clean hands. He just got clean. He that has clean hands shall grow strong. If a righteous man is worth 10000 this year, he'll never be worth less than 10000 any year of his life. But he'll grow strong. Next year, I'm going to be worth more money than I was this year. Everything that God keeps you grows bigger and better until you grow into the more perfect day. You are becoming, you are blossoming. At the end, at the end, you got more than what you ever had. It looked in the story like Job was losing. But the last verse is one, one verse. It say the last state of Job was better than the first. When God got done, Job had, we've been all our time. All his cattle was there. Job had more cattle than he ever had. I'm taking you by Friday till you got to understand that you're supposed to have this much. And the devil took it to, from you with lies. But guess what? I'm mad now because I got swindled at Albert Chevrolet. I got swindled out of maybe $12,000. I don't know how many thousands. You know what I'm telling God? I want it all back. I'm going to take Friday night. I'm going to take God to the word where he said that the man that swindles me has got to restore four yes. oh. yes. 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 I'm about to come into some money. Yes. Yes. Did you hear what I said? Oh, yes. I'm about to yes. come into some money. Because yes. yes. they're going to have to give me $4 for every one they swindle. Yes. The devil has got to give it back. Yes. Yes. I wish I had 10 yes. believers to jump up and tell the world the devil going to give it back. I'm getting back everything he took from me. I'm, I'm getting everything. You got two or three fortunes. Yes, sir. If you ever get back what he robbed you of, yes, you'll never be able to spend it. Yes, yes. I made up my mind I'm going to the word of God. His word says he shall restore unto you four fall. I wish somebody would rear back and shout, Glory! Have 
a seat. Elder Bogan, you don't sue? Yes, I'm suing the Bible. They don't sue believers. I'm suing the Senate. I'm going to sue that Senate. I told Dumas I got the right one to do it. Dumas go get the lawyer and sue for every dime you can get. God had already told me I'm going to win. Swindle me if you want to. I'm getting phone phone for everything you took. God wants me to get it. He, he, he wants me to come in about 50,000. Why? Because I'm going to give it to the church. That's why the devil don't want you to have nothing. Because he know the richer you are, the more blessed the church is going to be. That's why you got to get it all back so you can bless the work, so you can bless the ministry, so you can put the gospel out. He will use fake signs and false wonders, false signs, fake wonders. Paul is saying these deceptions are all the power Satan has. Touch your neighbor and say, deception is all the power Satan has. Deception is really the only weapon against you. The devil had. And they was able to swindle me because they pulled the wool over my eyes and deceived me. And Dumas, with his nosy self, went to rooting around and rooting around and say, Reverend, did you see how much money these people have misrepresented and cheated you out of? I say, keep a reading. <laughs> then got quiet. It wasn't theirs. And they had no right to have it. But they had to use trickery, skullduggery, chicanery, and all-out lies to keep my nose to the grindstone. I'm paying twice as much for a car as I should have paid. Ripped me off of my down payment, took my trade-in away from me, and got me paying double. But God said, I'm going to make him restore unto you for all your heartache and all your pain and all your headache and all your suffering. Uh, yeah, touch your neighbor and say, I got, some, I, got some, I got some pain and suffering money. <laughs> Not only he gonna give me he gonna give me double for, for, for my trouble, but I got some pain and suffering. I got some humiliation money. Yeah, I, I should have been here and I should have been enjoying all that. And I haven't been able to enjoy it. Yeah, I got some pain and suffering money. I wish you'd tell somebody I'm about to come out of it. I see a breakthrough. <laughs> Is this good teaching? If you will allow me to paraphrase this verse for you, the original meaning will immediately come clear. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all the power Satan has, even signs, even line wonders. Amen. I cannot overemphasize the importance of grasp in the next statement. Satan is not the powerful prince of darkness he once was. Touch him down and say, Satan is not as strong as he once was. Being an old man, he ain't nearly as bad a devil now as he used to be. Wait a minute, you don't understand. In this meaning, it means first thing, and this is what I started uncovering, is that Satan doesn't have an innumerable army. The reason why he want to keep the common Christians down is because we are outnumbered and he can't, he can't control the world because we, we multiplying too fast. Amen. See, remember, demons don't multiply. The same devils that started is the same devils that exist now. We the only one multiplying. Every time somebody gets saved, some more folk get an army of the Lord. The devil really scratching his head as to how, so what he got to do is he got to keep a whole bunch of propaganda. He done stepped up the propaganda machine to keep you bound with a bunch of lies because if you ever open your eyes and realize what the deal is, he won't, he won't be able to manage you. Come on. See, it ain't no one-on-one -on -one demon for saints. No, it's one demon blocking a whole church. It's one demon blocking a whole family. It's one demon shutting down a whole plant to knock a whole bunch of folk out. We got to cast these devils out. We got to take authority over these enemies. 
And the devil is not as smart as he used to be. The Bible said, it talks about Jesus dying on the cross and raising again. He said, whom the princes of this world, if they had known, they would not have crucified. It tells you that there was a time when the devil wouldn't have been so dumb as to put Jesus on the cross. But devil done slipped up a whole lot. And you think he slipped up then, he's slipping up now. And the devil really knew he wouldn't have got in your way like he did. Because he done gave you a double determination. You done quitted your fish. You done made up your you done made up your mind. I'm putting on the whole. I'm putting on the whole armor. Glory, glory. Woo, that's good stuff. That's, that's good stuff. Touch your neighbor. Say, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. The devil done slipped up. Instead of me being discouraged, I'm encouraged as never before. I'm going after him. He got to give it up. He got to give it up. So somebody tell him I shouldn't have got the Bible study. My eyes didn't come open. He can't fool me with a lie no more. He, he can't jive me no more. Hallelujah. Right back and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I doubt that. Oh, glory. It back. I ain't asking him. I'm gonna take back everything he took. In fact, I'm getting fourfold. I'm getting. He shall render me fourfold. I got to get fourfold. Cause somebody say double for the trouble. Double for my trouble. I cannot overemphasize. The King James Version, Satan does not have all power. Put it up. I'll, I'll do the rest Friday night. Put it up. It's time to go home. The reason why I ran a few minutes, remember, it's six to eight. I ran a few minutes over. Well, I started about 30 minutes late. But we're going to get it together. How many enjoyed what we did today?